YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. Ignore the shirt. We just came from a little function. Then we probably gonna go have a nice little dinner with the family. But anyway, Deshaun Jackson. Man, it's been pretty quiet with Deshaun Jackson. Well, up until yesterday, uh, when Deshaun Jackson was asked several questions that led up to him mentioning those Baltimore Ravens. But how did it get up to that point? What, what occurred for Deshaun Jackson to be talking about Lamar and them Ravens? Well, let me tell you. Um, shout out to I Am Athlete. He was on I Am Athlete. And normally, for videos like these, we would put the clip of whatever it is that the, so, the, the player said um, and, and show it to you so you can see it for yourself. But in this case, I would have had to edit it too much and chop it out and, and blur stuff out and whatnot. Because it was not Team Keep It Clean. So you can go watch the video for yourself. But anyway, um, Deshaun Jackson was on I Am Athlete with Brandon Marshall, with Omar Kelly, uh, and with Pac-Man Jones. Um, and they were talking, and he said that he is not retired. He said he is not done playing football. He has not quit the, the NFL. He said he is not retired. And Omar Kelly was like, oh, okay, so, so you ready? You could run a, that four three six right now? And he was like, hey, I'm, I'm ready. They asked me how, how much have he been training. And he said, I'm highly training. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But, I mean, I get it. I get it. He, I mean, he just, he's training a lot. He's, hey, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Got you. Um, so then Pac-Man. Pac-Man took it a step further, which I appreciated a lot. He said, all right, Deshaun Jackson, d -Jax. So... What are four teams right now? Such a weird number, too. Who, who asks for about four teams? Usually people ask for like two or three teams. Usually three teams. But anyway, he asks for four teams. What are four teams right now that you feel like you could help out? So Deshaun Jackson sitting back in the couch. I like how they got the little setup, too. They was on the stage. I think they were in, I want to say they were in Philly. But anyway, don't even matter. Um, but the first, first team that he mentioned was Philly. He's like, oh, yeah, the Philadelphia Eagles. And I mean, I, I can see that. Like Philly right now, they over there doing something special. They, they sitting at 5-0 and right now. So it's like, even with the game that they got coming up, I think against the Cowboys, even if they were to lose that game, they would be sitting at 5-1. and one. They wouldn't have to trip. They wouldn't have to worry. They're like, hey, we 5-1. and one. Okay, cool. But if they win at 6-0, and oh, ooh. And I, I like Jalen Hurst the other day. I, in an interview that I watched, a little clip, I, I saw him say, hey, because somebody was like, what do you think about being 5-0? and What do you have to say about that? He was like, they, they weren't talking about us last year when we were 2-5. and five. We were 2-3, and three, whatever he said. He said I, I don't, or when we were, whatever that bad record was last year. He was like, so I, I don't want people to talk about us right now when we're 5-0. I don't, I don't want to hear anything about that. I said, oh, okay, Jalen, there you go, Mr. Leader. There you go. And, and I love, I absolutely love and adore how Philly is doing this thing. Because... They went both routes. What I mean when I say that, uh, I mean, we talking about receivers. Deshaun Jackson brought this up. But anyway, um, Philly went the young. Well, well, they went young route both ways. But they went the, the rookie wide receiver. First round pick, Devontae, Devontae Smith. And then they were like, you know what? No, no, no. More, more. And they went and got a guy entering his prime. But somebody who was established but young. Somebody who's established but still a dog in A.J. Brown. They went and got him to pair them up. Jalen Hurts, Devon. it's been working out wonderfully. Wonderfully. So Jalen Hurts is like, oh, yeah, pick your poison. What you want to do? Who you, who you want to cover? Because I'm set. But anyway, um, I, I love what they've done for Mr. Jalen Hurts. Uh, but that was the first team that Deshaun Jackson named. Second team he named was the Green Bay Packers. And Green Bay Packers, we know their offense has been uh, this year. Um, you know they got Romeo Dobbs. Uh, they got, kind of, I mean, he kind of got Sammy Watkins. Um, but their offense just, it hasn't been what a lot of people are accustomed to. Um, so he, he, he did mention them as the second team. And then the third team that he mentioned. Because uh, Pac-Man Jones was like, hey, you, you only mentioned two teams. Like, hey, what's, what's another team? And he said, those Baltimore Ravens. He said, I, I like Lamar Jackson's game. I like how he's playing. Those Ravens. And I was like, okay, all right, Deshaun Jackson. I see you there, all right. But why? why? Why would you choose the Ravens? Is it only because of Lamar Jackson's game that you would be interested in playing for the Ravens? And then he did mention something, too, that normally I would catch on to these type of things. 
um, before somebody said it, but he said it, and he was like, oh, we could have that, that Jackson, the, imagine Jackson the Jackson. I was like, oh, okay, I like that. the little name, wordplay, and whatnot, but anyway, um, would this be a move that the Ravens would make? Is it a move that they should make? Now, to answer that first question, would it be a move that the Ravens would make? Oh, yeah, y'all know it. I'm <laughs> Y'all know already. For a team that signed a wide receiver that had not played football in, what, two, three, four years? You, you, like, you, what, would this be a move that they would make? Of course. Of course it is. Of course. The, like, Deshaun Jackson is right up the Ravens alley. That got Raven written on all over it all day, every day. We know that. Um, <laughs> I just, oh, boy. Uh, but with Deshaun Jackson, um, I, I don't know what's been going on with him. I don't know what it is. Because we obviously know about his history in Philly. Uh, he went over there. He did his thing. He was a very dynamic player, big-time playmaking wide receiver. And he did have his drops every now and then. But for every drop that he had, he made about four or five more plays than he had drops. The dude was a certified playmaker. Certified playmaker. Wide receiver, returner, they use him on them little end around the jet sweeps. All, they did all that with him too. Deshaun Jackson was a playmaker. He even, I don't know if he still holds the record, but I know at one time he had a record where he just had so many 50, uh, 50 yard or more uh, touchdown receptions. And it's like, man, he, he's, he, was, he was like that, man. He used to be one of them dudes, man. Um, but then I'm, I'm not sure where everything changed. I'm not sure. I don't remember when it when it just stopped. Cause I remember the Rams, they had signed him, and I was thinking, oh, okay, here we go. Alright, LA Rams about to do something. And then he either requested a trade or requested to be released. So they cut him. They cut him. He went to the Raiders. And I'm thinking, like, oh, okay, hey, let's see. Let's see. But nothing happened. Nothing happened there. Um and I just I just don't know what happened. And then this offseason, he ain't really heard a peep. So he was obviously listed as one of the, the free agent wide receivers going into the offseason, but I'm I'm not even sure if anybody worked him out or anything. I, I just don't know. Uh so with the Ravens, like even though this is such a Ravens move, it literally has Ravens written all over it. It's not something that they signed off for. Because they had every opportunity in the world to do it, and they haven't. So while I think this is a move that Ravens would make, I don't think it's a move that they are going to make. Because um, a player can be interested in this team, that team, that team, that team, that team, that team, that team. But it doesn't mean that those teams are necessarily interested in him. Um, but it is nice to know that somebody... Uh, that you you were somebody's third choice <laughs> as far as things that they're interested in, but hey, I bet if Ravens came calling, cause I don't think Philly gonna be hitting him up hitting him up anytime soon, and Green Bay I doubt it as well. But hey, you never know. But if Ravens came calling, I'm sure he would he would be picking up quick, um, cause he would get an opportunity if the Ravens made that move. But it wouldn't be anything that I would expect them to do. Should they even make that move? Well, you look at the Ravens' current receiver situation. Um, you look at Bateman, who's out for who knows how long. Obviously, it's a serious injury. Uh, he left in the, the third quarter of a couple games ago. Ain't been back since. No practice, no nothing. Obviously, no games. So who knows how long he'll be out for. Um, you see Devin Duvernay and just everything that he's been doing and just how he's been a big contributor. And this, this season for him has just... It's been wonderful to see. I'm, I'm so happy for him. I'm so glad that I'm glad he's proven me wrong because I was somebody that said about Devin Duvernay. I just I did not see the Ravens using him as a wide receiver. I did not see them doing that after the past two years, what it's been. But they they've been doing and they've been using him as really everything, not even just a wide receiver. Um, but besides that, it's been quiet. It's been really quiet. Demarcus Robinson, you, he, he was uh, involved the first couple of games, but I ain't heard nothing from him really since. 
Uh, nothing from Proche, nothing from Tylen Wallace. And see, the thing is, even if, because I know a lot of people going to be like, oh, well, Lamar missed those throws the other night on Sunday Night Football against them Bengals, buddy. How about that, man? Lamar missed them throws. Even if he would have hit the throws. Because, I mean, if he would have hit the throws, the, if he would have hit the first throw, then we're not even talking about Tylen Wallace. Because that's Duvernay. That's a touchdown. And he's been involved. But even if he would have hit the throw to Tylen Wallace, which I, one of my guys has sent it to me today. He sent me the actual film on the throw. Not just the, the broadcast view, but the actual film. And it did look like Tylen Wallace, he slowed up a little bit. Like in the middle of the route, it looked like he just slowed up. But regardless, it, it was an incompletion. Um, but even if he would have hit him on that throw, it's still been very, very quiet for Tylen Wallace too. It's been a very, very quiet season for all of our other guys who aren't Mark Andrews, who aren't Devin DuVernay, who aren't Rashad Bateman. It's been really quiet. That's why um, you, especially from Ravens fans and whatnot, and, and even analysts and experts, da, 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 that's why there's still chatters of the possibility of adding somebody else at the receiver position. I know there's been a lot of talk about edge. Oh, the Ravens should trade for an edge player, a pass rusher, a significant guy. But I, I think with Tyus Bowser, David Ajabo, Justin Houston, with the fact that a lot of those guys are, are on the way back, not that any of them is an elite pass rusher right now. They're, they're not. We hope that they get there for sure. And they will certainly help because, again, and the pass rush has gotten slowly better. Slowly better. Hopefully they continue. It could, hopefully it could be one of those things like, like what the past defense has been. They've been significantly better. And we hope that continues. But as far as the pass rush, every little bit will help. And they getting guys back. With the pass game, the receivers, they getting Bateman back. But who knows when? We don't know. We have no clue. And I think the thing when it comes to... Uh, the the receivers um another reason why there's been so much chatter amongst people about the potential of the ravens adding another one uh is because of really the offense and again something that i, I just I, I i completely missed it i completely missed it in this past game against the Bengals, probably because of how the way the game was going and the, the way that the, the ravens end up pulling it out and the fact that they won what i completely missed that second half offense has still been the same Still been the same. It's been extremely slow. And yeah, again, that the missed throw to, to Duvernay and to, to Tylen Wallace, that would have changed that a bit. But it's been extremely slow. You can't have that. You, can't, you cannot have that. So having, and it, seem, it seems like with the Ravens, they have a plan in the first half. That plan, it goes well in the first half. It seems like, all right, hey. Coming out, da 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 in the first half. But then in the second half, it almost seems like teams adjust, but the Ravens don't. I, I don't know what it is. Is it the scheme? Is Giro not scheming stuff up? Is it Lamar? Is Lamar just missing stuff or not getting into these receivers? Is it the receivers? They not getting open, not getting separation. Is it a mix of all three? Or is it something else that we're not even talking about? Whatever it is, they got to get it fixed. But until they get something like that fixed, until the receivers are more involved in the passing game, there's going to be more chatter like this. Chatter like this is it's not going to go away. Um, so we'll see. Obviously hope that the guys on the squad, they could shine. But that's why when the, the, the Panthers, once they fired Matt Rule, that's when so many Ravens fans are like, ah, right, hey, DJ Moore, or even, hey, Robbie Anderson, bring us one of them. Because those guys, they, like, especially DJ Moore, he's like that, man. He's like that. Like, I, I, I'm almost confused. Like, one, one guy, I saw somebody, he told me, um, he said, DJ Moore, he's like, he, he's, he's close to being a top 10 wide receiver. But the Ravens, they shouldn't make the move. And I'm thinking, like, what? So you mean to tell me this this guy, even if he's not top 10 at his position, 
He's cl- you, you saying he's close to being a top 10 player at his position. But it would not be something that the Ravens should do. And then I know a lot of people, hey, contract, contract, contract. Man, he's making all that money. Yeah. Good players, great players, they make money. And they cost money. So it, it's... But anyway, I don't even feel like getting into that right now. I, I, I just don't, man. Um, but anyway, um, let's hope that uh, let's hope that the Ravens' own receivers um, they can really put an end uh, to this chatter. And a lot of that tomorrow, tomorrow's game against the Giants, um, that can help. But just really everything that they do moving forward, uh, that can certainly help. Because early on this season, like. Again, Duvernay, he hasn't stopped being a big contributor. He has not stopped. Um, Mark Andrews, like we know Mark Andrews, but uh, yeah, since Bateman's been out, still wondering, like, all right, who, who else is gonna step up? Who else is gonna be that guy? Who else gonna come to play? So I guess we'll have that answer tomorrow. But as far as uh, Deshaun Jackson, yeah, I, I just it's not anything I see the Ravens doing. I mean. Hey, we already got our own Deshaun Jackson in Andy Isabella. And 